To sing children. Let's sing. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how do you do? I'm glad to be with you and you and you and you. Wow! What a nice way to start the day. Good morning, children. Welcome to English Academy on Air for our lesson in grade 6. I am your radio teacher, Kristin Lejano Gonzalez. Saying, learning must continue because the future of our motherland lies in you. At this moment, I want you to get your module for our lesson about noting details. Are you ready? Shall we proceed? If you're ready, give me a resounding yes! Okay, I heard you loud and clear. Let's go! Before we start, let us first review our lesson yesterday about finding meaning in visual media. Kids? Why is visual media very important? Yes, visual media is very important because you can convey your message in an engaging way. It also allows you to see and hear the information, making it easier to be retained in someone's mind. What are the three types of visual media again? You're right! The three types of visual media are images, videos, and infographics. That's great, children! You mastered our lesson during our previous session. This time, let's check your last quiz which was titled, Paint Me a Picture. You were asked to interpret the meaning of the visual media based on your understanding. Let's have number one. What image is suggested by the subdued color when the biker reached the peak of his destination? A. Sunrise or B. Sunset? What do you think is the answer? Amazing! The answer is letter B. Sunset. Number two. What is the infographic suggesting? A. The cause of COVID-19 or B. The spread of COVID-19 Correct! It is an update of the spread of COVID-19. Number 3. What does the image show? A. Amateur B. Expert What is the answer, class? Very good! The player is an expert. Let's proceed to number 4. What gentle reminder to the public is shown by the image? A. Proper hand washing B. Social distancing Correct! The answer is hand washing. Number 5. 
What event is shown in the video presentation? A birthday? B wedding? What do you think is the event? That's right! The image shows a wedding event. Letter B. Did you get all the items correctly? Great! Let's begin to learn another lesson in English after this reminder. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our Miss Earth Warrior 2020 from the Philippines. Hi everyone! Miss Philippines, for you, what is the biggest problem the Earth is facing today and how can we solve it? Earth is suffering because of us humans. Climate change and global warming are the biggest problems caused by our bad acts. So I think the best solution is the practice of four R's. Let's reduce your carbon emission. Let's reuse for conservation. Let's recycle plastic. And let's rethink of our old ways. We only have one Earth, but the Earth has millions of us. Let's love it more than it loves us. Thank you. Let's take care of our Mother Earth, a message from DNR, Depot, and this station. And now, English Academy is back for our lesson in Grade 6. Get ready and have fun as we start another learning adventure. Let's start! This day, we shall learn how to note details from a story read. Are you ready? Let me hear you say ready! That's great! Now get your notebook, pen, and module and be prepared as we begin. Is that clear? Aye, aye, Captain! Alright! The children, are you holding your module? Very good! Now let's do the activity What I Know. All you have to do is to read the information in the checklist. Put a check in the Yes column if you experience it. And put a check in the No column if you have not experienced it. Is that clear? Okay, number one. In 2013, Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines. This typhoon was the deadliest typhoon in the country's history. Have you experienced it? Number two. The onslaught of Typhoon Frank, which hit the Philippines on June 18, 2008, led to massive floods and landslides. Have you experienced it? Number 3. The Al volcano eruption has left behind a desolate landscape of destroyed houses and snap trees covered in a thick layer of heavy ash. How about the Taal volcano eruption? Have you experienced it? Children, the calamities and challenges that we had taught us to remain strong, steadfast, and calm amid adversities. That's the true spirit of being a Filipino. We never surrender and we keep on fighting despite all those calamities. Am I right, children? Alright! Did you enjoy the activity? Great job! Kids, you can surely relate to the selection that we will read because it is all about teachers. You love your teachers, right? So as we read the selection, I want you to note the name of the teachers, the subjects they are teaching, and the different talents they have because these are all the details given in the story. I repeat, as we read, 
I want you to note the name of the teachers, the subjects they are teaching, and the different talents they have. Are you ready? Okay, just follow me as I read the paragraph. Is that clear? Very good! Ms. Reyes teaches English. Mr. Cruz teaches math. Mr. Pedro teaches Araling Pandipunan. And Mrs. Santos teaches science. They are friends since college and are working in the same school, Rizal Elementary School. They are teaching grade 6 pupils. The teachers have their individual skills and talents. Miss Reyes is good in dancing. Mr. Cruz is good in singing. Mr. Pedro is good in painting, while Mrs. Santos is good in cooking. The grade 6 pupils love their teachers dearly. All right! So we have just read the information about the teachers in Rizal Elementary School. What about you? Who is your favorite teacher in your school? Really? I'm sure you really want to meet your teachers now in your school. Now going back, were you able to take down the important details that I told you earlier? Let's see! Who are the teachers? Very good! They are Miss Reyes, Mr. Cruz, Mr. Pedro, and Mrs. Santos. How about the subjects they are teaching? You're right! Miss Reyes teaches English, Mr. Cruz teaches math, Mr. Pedro teaches Araling Panipunan, and Mrs. Santos teaches science. What are their talents? Very good! Miss Reyes is good in dancing. Mr. Cruz is good in singing. Mr. Pedro is good in painting. And Mrs. Santos is good in cooking. You are doing great, kids! Keep it up! Kids, you have just unlocked another skill! Are you ready to climb into the next level? If you are ready, will you say, I am ready? Wow! You are indeed ready! Kids, how did you answer the questions about the selection a while back? Yes! You were able to answer the questions because you noted the details from the selection. Do you want to learn more about noting details? Great! Noting details is a reading comprehension skill that involves speaking out from a text a particular piece or pieces of information to achieve a given purpose such as answering a question in a test. When one note details, he keeps a brief record of something on a piece of paper. Class, it is very important to note the important details in the story or paragraph we have read for us to better understand the story. Details that answer the question who, what, where, and when should be noted. Did you understand how we note details? Let's read the short story and note important details. Let's start! Pedro went for a bike ride. He rode around the barangay. He met some girls he knew from school. They all headed to the farm to play. Pedro had a great time playing games with his friends. Now that's our story. How did you find it? This time, I want you to complete the sentence from the story that we read. Number 1. Pedro went for a blank ride. 
What is the missing word? Yes, it is bike. Pedro went for a bike ride. Number two. He rode around the blank. Where did he ride? Very good. He rode around the barangay. Number three. Then he met some blank he knew from the school. What would complete the sentence? You're right! He met some girls. The details in the story are bike, barangay, and girls. These are the details given in the story. This time, children, let me ask you. Why do you think do we need to know details when we are reading? Correct! It is important that whenever you are reading, you should be constantly noting the important details. These details are essential to develop reading comprehension. That's why, whenever you listen or read a story or paragraph, you should always practice noting important details you are reading. This will surely improve your reading comprehension skill. Let's apply what we have discussed in this activity found in What's More. I am going to read the short story, then take note of the important details from the story. Write your answer on the space provided after each number. Do not forget to note the important details in the story so you can answer the questions that follow. Is that clear? Alright! Therefore, we can start the activity. Here is the story. Blackie's Story I see and hear many things at night. I look at the sky and see the moon and stars. The leaves make noise when the wind blows. I see brown cricket and cockroach fly across the ceilings. I hear other dogs howling at the moon all night long. Did you enjoy listening to the short story, children? Good! Did you note know the important details in the story? That's nice! Now let's answer the questions. Number 1. When does Blackie see and hear many things? Correct! Blackie see and hear many things at night. Number 2. What does Blackie see in the sky? Correct! Blackie sees moon and stars in the sky. Number 3. What makes noise in the wind? Very good! The leaves make the noise in the wind. Number 4. What color is the cricket? That's right! The cricket is color brown. Lastly, number 5. What howls at the moon? Correct! The dogs howl at the moon. Wow! You are great listeners, kids! It's exciting, isn't it? Did you understand our lesson for today? Very good! Let me ask you some questions. Why is it important to note the details in the story? Very good! It is important to note the details in the story for us to better understand the story that we are reading. What are the questions that should be answered when we note the details in the story? That's right! Details should answer the questions what, where, when, how and why? It's impressive that you understood our lesson today. Later, we shall test your knowledge through a quiz. You are indeed amazing today, children. But for now, 
Let us first listen to this reminder. Girl, drink your beer. Try this pill. It will make you feel good. Uh, wow, it feels great, but uh, wait. Uh, uh. Many people use and abuse drugs. Drug abuse can damage your liver and can cause heart diseases. Your mental health is also at stake. It can lead you to anxiety, depression, and addiction. Make the right choice. Value your life. Maintain your dignity. Always remember, no is an option. A friendly reminder from PNP, Dapit, and this station. And we're back! This time, children, I want you to get your quiz form from your kids. Fill out the information needed. Write your name, section, and the date today. Do not forget the lesson number that is all about the quiz. Did you understand? Give me a resounding yes! Alright! Now we are ready for the quiz! It's time for you to be challenged! I want you to listen to the story that I'm going to read. Is that clear? Listen, enjoy, and learn well! This is Maria. She is 10 years old. She is short and jolly. She got long black hair. She got small black eyes. She can dance. She can sing. She can't swim. She can't run. Her favorite toy is a doll. It is blue. She got two pink yo-yos. She got a red yo-yo too. You may now start answering the questions. Number 1. What's her name? Number 2. How old is she? Number 3. Can she swim? Number 4. Does she have short hair? 5. Is she short? 6. Is her doll blue? 7. Does she have big eyes? Number 8. Can she sing? Number 9. Does she have three yo-yos? And number 10. Is she jolly? That ends our short quiz. Be sure that you have answered all the items. If you have some questions, you may also write them. Please put your answer sheet in the drop box in your place. Learning is fun, right? You did an amazing job! That ends our lesson for today. On behalf of the SDO Isabella RBI production, this is Kristin Lejano Gonzalez, your radio teacher, bidding you a sweet goodbye. Till our next lesson again, goodbye and have a good day.
Kaya ka Hindi ka artista para magdrama-drama ng ganyan. O ano naman ngayon kung binubuli ka sa school? Mahina ka kasi kaya ganyan. Yung mga pinsan mo ang tataas ng marka. Tapos ikaw ano? Pumasak ka na doon at mag-aral ka na. Ang napabayaan at napahabang bullying ay maaaring maging sanhi ng depresyon. Ang mga usaping ito ay hindi biro at hindi pawang kaartehan lamang. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. O oh, anak, bakit hindi mo ginagalaw ang pagkain mo? Inay, ayaw ka po ng ulam. Ang gusto ko po sana ay chicken joy at hotdog, kagaya ng mga kalaro ko. Hindi mo ba alam anak na ang mga pagkain iyan ay hindi sapat ang sustansyang kailangan ng iyong katawan? Kailangan mo din kumain ng gulay at prutas dahil ang mga ito ay nagbibigay ng iba't ibang bitamina upang lumakas ang iyong resistensya. Ganun po ba, Nay? Sige po, kakainin ko na po ang aking pagkain. Nang sa ganun, ay lumakas po ang aking katawan at malayo sa sakit. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. na ng hangin. Paparating na ata talaga ang bagyo. Mabuti na lang, nakita ko ang listahan ng mga dapat ihanda kanina sa Facebook ng DepEd. Ito ay ang tubig, pagkain, ID card, mahalagang dokumento, flashlight at baterya, posporo at lighter, first aid kit, kutsilyo, radyo, kumot, banig, lubid, gamit panigo, at ilang mga damit. Tawagin man kami para sa agarang paglikas, handang-handa kami. Maging handa sa anumang sakuna. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Taho! Taho kayo dyan! Di makatulog sa gabi sa kaiisip Damdamin ko'y mayroong lungkot hanggang sa panaginip Oh, Berto, di ka ba nakatulog kagabi? Hindi nga ho, Kuya Pekto Dala ho siguro ng lungkot ng pag-iisa dito sa bahay Di ho kasi makalabas dahil sa COVID-19 Ay... Berto, may tatlong bagay na dapat kang tandaan para maiwasan ng lungkot sa mga ganitong sitwasyon Una, Alamin ang dahilan ng iyong kalungutan. Pangalawa, maaaring ipabatid ang iyong nararanasan sa mga taong malalapit sa iyo. Nariyan ang internet para makausap mo sila. At ang pangatlo, ilaan mo ang iyong oras sa mga bagay na ikaw ay magiging abala. Hindi lang pisikal na kalusugan ng mahalaga, Perto. Pati pang kaisipan rin. Tatandaan ko yan, Kuya Pekto. Maraming salamat sa payo. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating henerasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela. Tayo na!